Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. A great first draw this morning. We got a treat to watch Desjardins, Desjardins play Peter Gallant. Of course, Peter Gallant pulling that off thanks to one strong end where they pulled it away with a four. Well, we're back for the afternoon match. We've got Bertrand Schneider against Miskew and Fry, two top teams, top teams in their pool, but top teams in Canada. Bertrand Schneider will have the hammer in the first end. The other three games that are going on in the rink today, we've got Clyder Laycock playing against Crothers Njegovin on sheet one. We've got Nedowin Nedowin, David and Alyssa, playing against Botcher and Sauter on sheet two. We'll keep an eye on that great game. And finally, on sheet four, we've got Sturme Sturme, who beat Botcher Sauter yesterday, playing against Wilk, Thiessen, Wilk Lismore uh, Thiessen. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that game to our sheet to the right. But our feature game, as we said, Bertrand Schneider, Miskew Fry. And I'm really excited to be joined for this game by uh, Scott Pfeiffer. So, Scott, thank you very much for joining us, and welcome aboard the live stream. Well, thanks for having me on. I've uh, been some witness of s some great curling uh, this week so far, and looking forward to seeing some more. All right, as we do always during our live stream, we love listening to the players. They're all mic'd up. They tell us what they're doing. They tell us what's happening. Saves me from guessing and getting it wrong. But, of course, with Scott here, we're going to make sure we get some of his thoughts on it. Scott is the director for Mixed Doubles. You tell us your title, Scott. I'm the High Performance Program Manager with Curling Canada for Mixed Doubles. Wonderful. Wonderful. There you have it. Great to have Scott here. He'll provide some uh, information, not just on the game, but hopefully a little bit about what's going on in the program. So, Scott, we'll pass it over to the players here for a few shots and get them into the game, and then we'll be back with you shortly. Sounds great. What uh, do you think, like edge or a little more? I think edge is good. Yeah. It's not coming up as much here. So, same as what I threw in the draw the button? How's line? Line's good. Where is it? Gotta go. It's close. Line's good. Hard him. Great shot in there. Another way, no. Yeah, if you can get to uh, bite the button, that's pretty good. As we can see, for button, they're going out to the middle of 12. That would be about four and a half feet of, uh, of curl. The ice has been curling great here so far at the right weight, so really pleased with the ice and the work that's been done here. Not just here in Banff, but also in Canmore, where it's also been great. Good comments from the Last curlers. That's what right we now. like to see. Wait Give them good ice. Stay they can make the shots. Yeah, line's Wait, there. Don't Stay want to. Holding. It's close, nope. though. Line's really nice. Only if I have to. Stay close. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Let's Yeah, then they... Yeah. What do you think, double or that? Whichever you like. Like, you could make all three go if you make it, but... Ooh, think so? Then half, but it's up okay. to you. Okay. All right, going to do the, uh, the triple they decided here. Of course, in the game here, there's lots of rocks in play. Angles are so straight. important, and they really, as you saw when they looked at the shots, have to try and think one or two shots ahead. What's the opponent going to do, and what's going to be left for them so that they can try and score in the last shots? Yep. Yep. Like pretty much same weight. I can take a few feet off because it'll be here better. Yeah, agreed. Same ice, probably? I think so. I can just get you on it a little sooner. Oh, oh. 
Certainly not the outcome they were looking for. A great chance here for Schneider and Bertrand to sink one right in here. Of course, wait for the shot. One of the things up for grabs at this event is an entry into the Mixed Doubles Olympic qualifier. Neither of these teams have punched their tickets yet, so certainly something that both are looking to do. Uh, okay, a little wider. Wait's close. Wait's good. Top four. Top button. There it goes. Whoa. Wait's really Lock good. Wait's perfect. Wait's perfect. It's top button. Yep, yep, yep. Scott, not a bad shot. Yeah, yeah, it's a great draw weight yeah. in a uh, pretty tight uh, area there. Be a little difficult for Ryan to make a double here. Uh, he has to hit about a three quarters of a rock in it. Well, might go back and get the back two, but leave the yellow shooter at the top right on the button. I just reminder, Bertrand Schneider so like, do have last rock, so certainly sitting really step, well right? here. Uh, you gotta, you gotta move it at least a rock. So like, hack. Yeah. Looks like they've elected to the out turn tap, hack weight. Just trying to touch their blue into the pocket. Of light yep. It's a great thing about owning the top of the house there. Good. Lots of rocks ah. to play with. It's always nice to have some in the top four foot, top eight foot, half buried around the guard in mixed doubles. Nice shot. Really good shot. Scott, you obviously played a lot in the fours game, and now you're leading the charge on the mixed doubles. What are some of the main differences that you've seen between the two disciplines? Uh, obviously, I think the ma the first main difference is it's kind of a slow burn in the four-person curling. It, it's a lot of setting up shots, uh, but you don't really have that luxury in mixed doubles. There's already two rocks in play right along the center line, so if you miss that first shot, you can get in a lot of trouble right off the bat. So. That's probably the biggest thing to wrap your head around is making sure that that first shot is very precise because um, otherwise you could be in a lot of trouble. And just maybe for some of us who are less confident, <laughs> can you look at the choice of who throws the, the first and last and the middle three? What, what tends to make up that decision? I, I remember when mixed doubles started, it was always the theory that you would have your uh, person that could throw the most weight uh, throw those middle three rocks so when you got up in a game you would switch but uh, sometimes a male athlete would throw one five and they would switch throughout the game but I think teams learning the mixed doubles game and, and gaining more experience just feel more comfortable having um, one person throw the, the one five shots all the time uh, so that they have that feel throughout the entire game and then having uh, the person can throw a lot of weight in the middle uh, throwing two three four and I remember the first year of this event we held, um, there was a couple teams that did switch, but I, I rarely see that anymore. Yeah, it's not as frequent as, as it once was when the, when the game first started out, for sure. All right, we'll get back to the game, but something to think about I'm going to ask you later is, uh, you know, we've had a lot of conversations around the, the fours players, as we call it, coming together to play mixed doubles, two amazing throwers and executioners of the game, and then, of course, the mixed doubles specialists who are really honing in on it and the different strategies, and we've seen certain certain uh you know teams do really really well just being mixed double specialists and we've seen of course as we saw when gushu einerson won bringing two top curlers together what they can do so i'm going to ask you later on uh, a little bit about that so uh, we'll come back to that but right now we're going to join miss skew who's throwing her last rock here in one yep 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 oh, oh you're <laughs> okay. No. I think you can just Pretty jam much the this. Same line that she just I think threw. you just jam this for one. I think you could. I think it's not really any danger because you miss. You're just picking yeah, this. It's like really thin. 
It's like it's just what she threw, like a though. quarter jam is on here. Yeah, it's the same thing she threw. Yeah. Only other shot is just hit this and get one. I don't mind this. Okay. All right, electing to go for Hers the deuce here. Hit, but yours I don't think will. Low risk. Yeah. Uh, really can't give up more than one if they miss it. She's just trying to pick what she can see. Scott, I'm looking at the same camera you are. Can't see much of that. What do you think they have? Well, I would love to be a lefty here sitting in the right hack rather than the left hack like Shannon has to here. Because uh, from my angle, you can't see a whole you lot of that any? blue rock. Well, the good thing is she's the one who saw the shot. She's the one who wants to throw it. That's usually a good thing because uh, yeah. otherwise you might be second-guessing this. Okay. Yes, very like much it. so. Throw enough that you can't hit it too thick, too thick to jam it. Yeah. Does that make sense? So yeah. what are you going to throw? Just yeah. firm? Uh, yeah, just firm. Okay. We are getting great curl here. We've seen that all week so far. So we do know the rock with the right weight will curl around that. So a buried rock is not unexposed. Oh, good throw. Oh, oh, oh. So did, nice. Didn't miss yeah. that by much. I'm not sure if it was there, but a hell of a throw by Shannon in the, in the first, <laughs> first end here. Uh, good throw. <laughs> I can do that if you go put the rocks out. So here we go. A steal of one in the first end. That'll be Michigan and Fry taking an early 1-0 lead. Lots of points, though, out there. Saw a six-ender here on the screen last night. Anderson Dropkin doing that to Molding and Courtney. So certainly these games are never, ever over. Scott, while we see them set up here, who are some of the teams that are in the high performance program mixed doubles uh, with Curling Canada? Uh, so right now in our national team program, it's the teams that have qualified for the trials, either through the mixed doubles rankings from 2019-20 um, or the Canadian Championship last year. So teams like Jocelyn Peterman, Brett Glant, uh, Jennifer Jones, Brent Lang, Nancy Martin, Ty Griffith, John Morris and Rachel Holman, Carrie Anderson, Brad Gushu, and... Adriana Seidick and Colton Lauder are six qualifiers from the last couple of years. And recently we had uh, Lisa Weagle and John Epping win the Ellie Jenkins Memorial Mixed Doubles Classic a couple of weeks ago to punch their ticket to the Mixed Doubles Trials as well. Yeah, it's great to see them do that. And of course, uh, great to have them here with us this week and get a chance to see them curl later on. It's really curling. Tick the guard. Yep. Definitely. No hesitation there. That one's staying a bit high. They're going to come from the other side. They're going to try and bury it around, put it on the top button if they can. I'm always amazed at we, how they can go from throwing okay, a, a little, six little extra line, heel but be slower and then a 14-8 okay, throw. Okay, line's good. Four. Easy, easy line's good. Top four. Whoa. Stay close, Shan. Yep. Top four. Whoa. Whoa. Coming yep. down. Whoa. Go ahead, go ahead. Line's perfect. Hard. You got a good one. Go, go, go. A little farther. Hard. Beauty. Great shot. Really nice. Really nice. I missed it. It's okay. Probably like a 14 5 ish. I guess. What? Or tap bars and push those open. Yep. Two different shots. I like to come around it, but... What's that? I like coming around it. There's Straight space. Yeah. I think you got to go here. Okay. A little extra, probably? Just a bit. A little light. Okay, cool then. Line's good. Got to go. Line's really good, Em. Hart! Oh, a little over 
hook there. Good chance here now, Bertrand and Schneider to probably hook one around there. Yeah, they definitely could sit three here or uh, just move around the, the ones at the top, but those are in a pretty good position, so they've decided to come around with the intern here. What? Lay three. I feel like it's getting slower and slower as we yeah. go. That was a little less than I wanted to throw. Uh-oh. just like not draggable. Line's good. Just got lots of room. It's weight only. Weight only has to curl right now. Let it go a bit. No, weight's good. Has to curl. Weight's Line's good. Close. Line's really close. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I just lost that. Okay. Yeah, the team's getting tricked a little, Sorry. thinking it's a little faster than that it is. Nice <sighs> kind of leaves a nice pocket for Ryan and Emma to, like three quarters close, to run the double takeout and potentially sure squeeze no the, the blue rock in behind the guard. Yeah. Any chance that top yellow drags a Catches that back one? Probably not. A goes over top. No, I don't think the back one's accessible at this point. It's not hurting them, as they say. Guards and rocks behind the center line are good for you when you don't have when you have last rock. Sweeping competition behind the T-line. Hit anything? <laughs> what? That didn't hit. Okay. <laughs> that was great. Who won? Who won? <laughs> Both this spun one. out though, so. This must have no. They're pointing at it. This one hit? This one hit? They're they're pointing at it. Yeah, it's out. Okay. There we go. You can see the gallery in behind. Is that back yellow in? Team no. effort. Either of them aren't in? No. Okay. Do you like this side? Yeah. Right, chance to watch the game. Last one came down. They thought they had good, uh, good weight, and it just came off and carved over. So, probably a small adjustment here for Catlin Shaw. Line's a little wide. Line will be okay. You got room. You got lots of room. Line will be fine, Sarah. Trying to get better. Just full four. Line's good. Has to curl. Has to curl. Wait, it's really good. It's full three. four. If you can finish. I don't think I need to, do I? Just, so it's already there. That's it. Really nice. <laughs> Probably the. I don't know. What are you seeing? It's whatever you like. I think for I could probably tap it with this out turn for shot. Okay. I don't but think you need to. Like, we don't want to bounce off, right? So. I like playing at it, but we gotta what do you, play it safe. What would you play? Run? Like, in four-person curling, yes. <laughs> I just don't know if that's the wrong move right now. Well, you don't see a lot of takeouts, do you? No. In this, uh, unless you get into a but, situation you like, can move a ton, I guess, or it doesn't look good on angles. When you only have five rocks in end, you really have to be cognizant of um, yeah. making sure that you get one in there to, to kind of cut the other players down. Sometimes all this, all this does is move the rocks around the house and it gives the other team a good chance to score a big end. Of course, when you throw it like that, yep. <laughs> great shot by uh, Fry and great assist by Miski with the preparedness okay. to sweep. So they'll take advantage of the center line guard and they'll draw around. Yeah, in four-person curling, you probably see them try the hit and roll, but knowing that there's uh, no blanks or you lose the, the option if you blank an end, they're going to go hard for their, for their deuce here. We had that really under. rare situation two years ago where there was a tie on the rocks, and it ended up being solved by a 0 .01 of a centimeter, but... Hey, if it was a tie, in Wait, fact, really you good. don't lose the yep. uh, the hammer in that case because I guess both rocks, your, your rock was yep, yep, countable? Yep. Or? Yep. 
yeah, it, w it would be a bad way to lose a hammer. So I think that's one of the rules that's been adjusted to ensure that, uh, you know, a, t a tied measure doesn't uh, negatively impact your chances. And they've also fiddled a bit with where the rocks are placed, if I'm not mistaken. That's something where they've kind of moved it back, or it used to be right at the back button, and now it's a little more room to, to allow build up there. Yeah, I think now there's room for, for basically two rocks. So if on your first one you freeze down, the other Let's team has it. an opportunity to freeze down to it and, and still have a chance at shot rock. And yeah, they're going to do, of course, the same shot to run back here to try and eliminate that, that yellow stone. Any other changes you maybe have heard of or you think are being uh, talked about for the future in this discipline? I, I think in mixed doubles, everyone, it's a pretty popular discipline right now. And uh, I haven't heard anything coming from the World Curling Federation as to possible rule changes uh, in the game at this point. Come on. It's got to curl just a little bit. Oh. Sorry. Throw him. All right, that'll give a chance now for Schneider and Vircher to draw. Basically, throw. touching eight, half of 12, I and they back. should be able to get there yeah. too. And didn't do anything after that. Really close. I guess I could have tried to curl it. I don't know if it really works on peels. Yeah. Scott does it, high performance. On peels, can you curl it? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. There you have it's it. It's just not as effective as if you're sweeping to curl on a draw. You still see teams doing it. Yes, so. I'm not going to go any wider. Okay, what did you get on mine? All right, last rock here, the second okay. in. Chance for Richard, uh, Shannon Richard to draw this in. Just needs to touch eight, basically, and uh, they'll score their deuce and take a 2-1 lead into the third end. Yeah, I like it. Wait's good. Just clean. Line's good. You got room. Wait's good, Chan. Wait's good. Okay. They like it. They like the line, like, like the weight. Comes to a rest. <laughs> there we go. Two on the board. Shannon Bircher take a 2 1 lead. Yeah. But of course, Miski Fry will have the hammer as we head into the third end. So, Scott, you had a chance to think about it. The Mixed double disciplines against the top four players. They have great execution. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, first off, I'd just like to say the diversity that we see in mixed curling, uh, mixed doubles curling is great. You, you get a lot of the the teams kind of forming together from our, our elite high performance teams, and uh, which makes for some great personalities and, and great discussions. And then you have your teams that are dedicated mixed doubles players who uh, devote a lot to the sport, and it's great to see them out on the ice being able to compete against a lot of these teams and and do very well in that aspect. And then you see teams like the Nedouins over on sheet B here. It's a father-daughter combination. You see uh, husband-wife combinations all over the place. So it's it's great that way to see all the, the players out here. And, you know, when you get to a Canadian championship and you have those mixed doubles uh, uh, exclusive players playing against uh, some of our uh, top teams who form uh, and, and play in the Canadian Championships. It always makes for, for some great matches and uh, it's just great to be able to see them uh, compete out on the ice together. Great. My last question before we rejoin the game is uh you know, you often hear about the skips having to sweep, and then you see the front ends throwing amazing shots. Is you know any any theories yet on whether leads and seconds, thirds and skips, uh, the combinations that make up the best uh, mixed doubles team, or, or are you passing? <laughs> no, actually, you know what? it's it's great to see all the different combinations and see a lot of the skips who are normally standing out there cold at the end of the ice for the four-person game, uh, staying warm and and getting an appreciation for what their uh, their front enders and, and thirds do for them in the four person game. Yeah, I was watching the other day, uh, Brendan was trying to sweep, someone was yelling at him. I <laughs> often usually the other way around, I think, but uh, we'll rejoin our game. It's 2-1 for Bertrand Schneider after a great last end. And of course, Miskew and Fry will have the hammer. Some great curling already. Let's join the teams and uh, continue to watch the screen. Freeze. Okay. Straight freeze, the pocket's really good. What'd you get on that? I got a 14-1. 14-1? There's no one? for that 14 and a half, I think. I was saying 14 and a half to freeze down basically to the T-line, so that's good speed. 
Let's see if that speed stays up. Line's good. Full event for line. Yep. Hard. Hard line. Hard. Hard. Keep going. Hard. Hard line. Hard. Yep. Chuck the guard over. Hmm. Sorry, Sean. Like Just tight. a bit light yeah. there, I think, okay. because it's, uh, early. I don't think yeah. that would have quite got where they wanted so. it to. Freeze another one in there. Like try to go here. Like we can go through here, but it's pretty much. Well, that ends up being a forest. Shoots the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You should be able to get For there. Now. See if you tick the guard, that's okay. Gotta say, Scott uses some of the coolest uniforms with the multicolored bear on the front of the uh, shirts. Yeah, I do love all the uh, the different colors that we see out on there. Try and get to the inside. And one of the things yeah, I'm noticing more and more is uh, socks. Socks is sort of taken over as the uh, as the unique yeah. uh, unique feature. It's I think uh, Brendan side. Botcher really started to trend at the at the Briar last year or the year before, um, where he started wearing a bunch of different socks. He looks there right now. So it's great to see Close. a little bit more personality for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great opportunity to freeze in here. Room. Room. We're there. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Nice shot. Yeah. Probably get all three blues. Okay. Is it better to run this one? Not really. Uh, no. I think the middle's better. Okay. It's just hard to stick. Do you want right? to come sweep? In turn, like sliver high or nose. Yep. Get, yeah. Trying to promote the yellow guard directly onto the <coughs> blue sitting at the top of the forefoot. Which will get the blue ricochet back onto the yellow, which will then hopefully just let like them take out the, the back blue. Perfect. Yep. There is a chance that all three of the yep. blues disappear. Right. The one so thing like we've noticed in this is that, you know, bit, even though a team can look really set up but well, uh, there's so many rocks either out front of the house or in the top of the house that a lot of like things can change with a well-executed yeah. shot. You're never really out of it. You can't sort of take the, take the brakes off. For sure. Not the outcome they were looking yeah, for. Yeah, we have to. What do you think? Yeah, or go around the corner. The, the margins well, are very like small on those. You need yeah, to get I don't. In the right spot I don't like the triple. Pretty bad for you. Just real tight. Still three rocks to come. Two for Bertrand Schneider. Three for Fry Miski. So lots of time Same still turn. left, but certainly blue with That's hammer right? as uh, sitting yeah, in a good no spot here. Guard. No, but a little high is okay. okay. Just guard the center line. A couple of usable yellow guards to run back in. But so certainly, and still much available to both teams. A little bit wide. Okay, I think we're a little light. Okay, line's good. Yep. Hold it straight. Well, it's high. Let's stop. Let's stop. It's high. It's okay. Left a bit of a hole there, leaving Bertrand oh, yeah, and Schneider the it's kind of in between. soft like weight like getting a roll. Better roll. Or you play it to the crotch, right? Yeah. I don't mind a control. It's like, like one of two things, because control. control doesn't get rid of either. That's the only problem, right? Does it what? Doesn't get rid of either if we hit the crotch. But I think I it's more important just to get the under. With control. I think you're just getting Okay, easy control. Yeah. Okay, and just hit and roll on top. I'm thinking like middle of that yellow is close. I feel like it's gonna curl. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
Right, a heavy draw down. They kind of have to because if they just throw a draw to really over curl, wanting to at least push one rock hopefully out through and sit on top of the other one. Great shot there. Hey, that wasn't much of a hole. <laughs> no, got to thread the wire on those, and uh, they did that for sure. Thread the needle. Well, right now. Like, I think we want to do this. What's that? Like, we just want to sit here and tap it a little. We don't want to move it out. You don't think I can move that out with hack? Like, it's over buried by, like, curls, three quarters though. of a rock. I know it curls, but I think we're gonna end up just leaving. Then what's the alternative? I think we play like back four and try to sit right in front of it. Just really like, hard where the, I don't know, I think you can do that with that guard, Emma. Well, look at the way he just threw. Yeah, what did he just throw, hack? He was close to hack. Okay, so. Hack I, is like all or nothing. We hit the guard, it's disaster. And if you blow by, it's not good either. Well, going by is not the hor worst thing. I don't think no. you can go by, though. I don't know how you could go by it. Like, <laughs> I don't think this is as small as you think. I think we just play it to <laughs> tap it to here. Try to sit as close I to I just don't think you can. Yeah, I, you don't, play I don't think you can do that with draw weight. I think you're coming to nose. Like, he to get through that hole, he threw hack, and he hit the one that was buried. Yes, I still think where it rolled is farther over than what he was. He was trying to hit a rock here, which he did. They rolled over. It's way farther over there. Scott, you want to weigh in on this? What are you thinking? <laughs> no, I'm just sitting here loving the discussion between the two. It's, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the best weight is here, but just be nice to move the yellow over a little bit and leave your blue in what front. Is it fair to say in the mixed doubles game, there is nowhere to hide? <laughs> I say two. that's a very, very fair statement. There's two of you out there, and you've got to come to grips with all these uh, tough conversations. But they do such a good job of it. Communication is so important. It's one of the things I love about this discipline is that every player is in every shot. Whoa, whoa. try and make it really good. I don't think it really hurts us to try that. If I play T-line and just... Yeah, I really, the only thing you really can't do is like this, but... I don't think if I'm playing the right weight, that's I ever agree. happening. Yeah. If it's, anything, I'm gonna over curl past it. Gets it gets like, you gotta get, like, cross the nose almost. You get to nose, you pop it perfectly your shot. Yeah. Okay, you like, I like that? that? And I mean, if you're a little short, you're here, whatever. It makes yeah. their draw tough. So... Okay, I there. think that's max. Cause you gotta get tight to that guard. I know, I'll get, it just, there's tons of late finish with draw weight, so. Okay, but I think you kinda, like, you kinda have to throw back four, back eight to make okay. it. The two options, it sounds like, either guard it up and give just them the one. Just depends how safe we wanna be, right? Try and make it so yeah. you can sit one. Do you Please, like one like, better than the other? Well, I think they've seen the rocks come down here, so if you throw the right weight, I, I definitely think, think there is the tap to like sit one yellow, yeah, uh, which forces Ryan and Emma to make a much more difficult shot. Don't, it's not going to get a lot of energy. Yeah. So it's, it's up to you. If you want to be safe, throw the same. Okay. I mean, if I'm if I'm going to be safe, like I think we're over curling. Okay. Well, so I think throw we the same and let me. Well, throw the same and let me sweep it then. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Let it uh, settle. Okay. Okay, weight's good. So lots of line right now. Let it work. Close, yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Pass the curl. Gotta go wait. Yeah, keep going. Line's great, keep going. Pass the curl. Hard. 
Okay, that's a good shot either way. Well, that was the tolerance that they wanted. If they were going to miss the shot, they wanted it to be that light <laughs> draw rather than bump yeah, into like the open and maybe give them a chance for a bundle. Yes, they were a little scared with a couple more blues uh, <sighs> hanging around in the back of the house there. Ultimately would have loved to tap it another foot, but this way at least takes the other two blues out of play in the back of the house. And this has got to be a tough draw to get in there. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we just saw, uh, I mean, they didn't miss the yellow guard on the outside by too much, and we saw how much it curled in there. So they might almost have to play just a little bit more weight back four and, and take off one of the, the yellows in order to get the Like, I'd rather have you sweeping, holding it, than watch it the whole way for Yeah, no, I agree. Easy line, easy line. Easy. I like your weight. No, no, no. Got no. It's really got to move. Emma thinks she's got it up a bit and out of it. It's a home run ball, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this one oh, needs to curl to get the guard. by the guard. Come on. Okay. It's tough shot either way, but still they get their one. Yeah. So it will be two all after three ends here. Banff Curling Club on sheet three. I'm joined by Scott Pfeiffer, the high performance coach for the mixed doubles discipline. Hope you're enjoying watching this. If you've got any questions, comments, please feel free to send them through. We've got Curtis Fairhurst monitoring the stream and he'll come over and grab the mic and, uh, and answer anything you want. Of course, he'll be over here in about another end to give us an update across all the sheets. We've got three other games here. We've got four other games going at Canmore. This is a shared event Probably between the Canmore Golf and Curling right? Club and the Banff Curling Club. Great partnership between the two towns. Great people over there. A little shout out to Darren Cook, Dennis Graham, Heath Hutchins, Linda Whitaker, and Cheryl and Hugh Brunt. And, uh, who are over there right now. They're doing a great job at that sheet of ice. And... They keep sending us updates, and uh, it's great to have them as a partnership. And I'm really happy to partner to bring you the Qualico Mixed Doubles Championship. Qualico, our main sponsor, they don't only support us with money. They come up and they're here during the whole event. They love curling. They love the game. They love the athletes, and it's just such a pleasure to work with them. Had a chance to see them at the golf course the other day. We'll see them here throughout the event. So big thank you to Qualico. Of course, our other key sponsors, the Malcolm Hotel, hosting our athletes. Bull Valley Credit Union and Vision Electronics. So thank you to all of them. Without that, the event couldn't be possible. And I know the players like coming to the Valley. They enjoy the mountains and everything. Seeing a bit of a different picture this year as we have no snow. We usually host this in January. But uh, yeah, 36 of the top teams are here enjoying this event and we're enjoying having them here. We'll go back and join this game underway. It's a 2-2 tie after three ends. And Bertrand and Schneider will have hammer. This, this, this rock's not good. It just picked when you lifted. Is it pick? Thanks, Josh. Good throw. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Sounds like that rock they may not like. Clean. The good thing in mixed doubles is you have a spare rock, so you can always switch out a rock if you feel that it's not performing up to your expectations. Clean then, whoa, 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 really whoa, 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 right off, right, right off, right off. It. No, sit. It's losing its handle. Yeah. Sit, sit, sit all day. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, good shot. Ah. Wanting to keep it above the T line so that Ryan and Emma can't come down with oh, the next one. Like 14, five there. Freeze tap, make a little pocket. Yeah, that would just got about a 14.5, and that flew just behind T line. So, certainly some good speed out there. It's got to be about 14.8. For, for button draw. As long as they, just to keep a broom on it. Okay. Hers looks like it lost its handle there. It's there. Really? Oh. It's close. Looks there. Eight. Mine's good. It's all there. Just a little heavy, leaving quite a pocket there. That's an enticing place for Bertrand Schneider to visit next. Button is about to get very crowded. Of course, with the ability of 
uh, Ryan Fry. I likely see a double run back in the future here. It's quite possible. Wait's close. Wait's close. Wait on me. You got lots of room. Pass to curl. Like to go a bit. It's good. Hard, yep. Straight. Hard. Hard, right down to it. Go. Really that's, nice. a, that's a great shot. Okay. Just coming in sideways yeah. right wait there. So. Maybe just freeze. There too. Watching Catlin there is like watching the steering wheel, the way he rotated around to sweep it in, hold it, yeah, sweep it in, hold it. I mean, how much impact has that had? I mean, I mean, when I used to play curling uh, junior competitively, and that is a long time ago, and competitively I used loosely. I mean, we didn't even have directional curling. I mean, how much has that changed the game? Uh, I think it's changed it quite a bit. I mean, there's a lot more that you can do and influence a rock. Uh, I think back to all the days when Marcel and I were sweeping together, and probably not doing not doing as much work as effective work as we could have been um, we always had the inside sweeper being the person sweeping into the curl so we kind of had an idea that um, there was some directionality to the sweeping but um, I think the teams took it to a whole new level about five or six years ago and uh, that's why you see everyone out there now with the with the same same type of broom heads um, I, I think it's gotten to a good point where everyone is fairly happy with the way um, the sweeping works. I remember, when it, everyone. Yeah, I remember when it first came out and you basically had sandpaper, you could almost drive that thing right in. They had some of the great YouTube videos that showed it. But I think it was a good job to taper those heads down a little bit to make it a, a, a better adjustment. Yes, most certainly. Of course, back in my day, I was slapping a corn broom down there. So <laughs> not sure how that had an effect on directional sweeping because you'd slap it one way, slap it back, and spread debris everywhere. Well, the nice part now is everyone is using the, the fabric heads, so there's no there's no corn or, or horse or hog hair on the ice anymore, which uh, leads to a lot less picks than we used to see. I don't know if they. I don't know if they can yeah, afford to true, play True, but halfway side. through the uh, game, if you were yeah. behind, you bring out the <laughs> corn proofs okay. and and Maybe spank it for a few yeah, ends, and game could change. Okay. Oh, no, definitely, yeah. Scott, if you like being blue or you like being yellow at this point in the game? Uh, yellow still does have hammer, and I think they're pretty much, it good. would be very difficult for that yellow at the top of the button to move, so I think they're at least great, guaranteed to score one, it. but now they're kind of consigned to guarding Whoa. here and hoping that they can score two with the, with the, the yellow at the back of the forefoot or at the back of the button okay. also okay. counting. Okay, I mean, we got nothing there. Tap that onto this one. I don't love tapping theirs. Do you can I get? Can I get second? I don't think so. We could try. Yeah, I guess. If you skinny this one. Can I tap this and get out of the way? Yep. Guess a little light's okay. It's probably the shot. Just try and get shot and get out of there, eh? Hey. Just dead. F oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like running their guard. Like, if anything, we can tap ours up, our it's guard just up. Just if we move the move it off there, it gives them a nose hit to like four. Okay, let's play the draw. Deciding to come all the way around the outside with the intern. Do we play this with like a little bit of weight? Sure. I 
guess if we touch ours, we're dead, though. Well. I guess go by everything is probably best, right? I don't think we're dead if you touch ours. Doesn't that just give him a no the shot on his own? But it's guarded with the guard there. Just a just heavy tap. Okay. It's He's good. trying to tap the back yellow that is second shot right yep. now. Where is it? Light! Yep! Light! Hard! Hard Emma! Great sweep there. Just catching the top yellow one a bit unfortunate, but I didn't think he were a, would be able to catch the top yellow. But might have done the job if they push that yellow back enough. Ooh, it's close. I didn't think we could hit theirs. <laughs> Just like you like said. I thought as soon as we were by and needed to come up, I did not think we could hit the six. Now if they hit that blue, does it get rid of all the blues and leaves Maybe three yellows? Well, not all the top blues. Yeah, I think it would drag and hit that back. Basically, the placement stone at the back of the forefoot would be gone. Uh, and it's just a matter whether the, the other yellow stays at the back of the forefoot or not. Yeah, it looks like it hits the blue f yeah. first and would spin around and probably get out of the forefoot, out of the eight foot even. But the only way to know is if Carlin decides with Shannon that they want to play it. It'd be interesting to see, but I think they'll probably play the intern draw, sit, sit two, or maybe three. Oh, it leaves them sitting pretty good so for their final game. shot. Real good. I just keep sweeping. I just didn't think it could curl that much at the. Crazy. It's hard to navigate on all the rocks. Are you okay? Even if you're right here, I think that leaves us. I don't know, they're probably just capping it at that point, but. Do you ever try and get to nose with like bump and just try and kick that really yeah, I'm just quietly? not really certain this is gonna go very far with nose because you're just thin in it. I know, but you just need to move this one out of the way yeah. here. I think I like that. Okay. And just with like hack. Okay. Or bump. Let's say bump. Okay. We just don't want to roll the shooter away, so I'm more comfortable right. with hack. What do you think happens this too if I just slam this? Does it just jam right in there and stay there? No, I think it spins down a bit. Okay. Okay, so it's just so touchy because if I nick the guard, like I don't ever want to get close to that blue, right? It's okay, helping just us. Play back 12. I think just I'll throw T line and sweep it to back eight. I need more ice though, way more. Yeah. This is three. Okay. I'm just gonna throw you a T line and sweep it a bit. Okay. I still want more, Shan. Back eight. Whoa, line's close. Yep. Yep. Back eight. Whoa. Yep, yep. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Oh, you're on the front. I think that's just uh, the difference in weight, and then it got going early. Cause it was yeah, sometimes the rock's going early makes you go and this. Right get into a new path and two, right? One. gets a little slower. Are we shot or you think they are? It's close. Do I try to do this? I think they are. Yeah. I think that's what we got to do. Like even if I move this a hair. Okay, where did you take edge? No, I was a little outside edge. A little outside? Yeah. Okay, I think I'd probably be okay with edge without my insurance or anything. Yeah. It was interesting yesterday watching uh, Reed Carruthers when he threw. He had to put the broom standing up. Uh, give him credit, not once did it ever fall over. 
a couple of times when he threw the throwing device, it just caught the end of the bumpers. It almost went on to sheet four. I guess those are some of those little things you got to, and nuances when you don't throw with the broom. Well, Reed is a mixed doubles veteran, so he's had lots of lots of years throwing with the crutch and then having to grab the sweeping broom afterwards. Well, maybe I'll take a video of that so we can show that to anybody who does that. Clean it. Wait, close. Yep. Mine's really good. Really got to go on this. It's a little light, but mine's good, they say. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Did the trick, though? Yeah, it did the trick. I think you can get there. Obviously. It's got to be perfect, Just, but it's there. Yeah. Ryan and Emma thought that uh, Catlin and Shannon were sitting too. So they're looking at playing the out turn to potentially get three. Can I ask you? The question is if they raise the blue back into the it's yellow, really they might I mean, be able to get the us? back yellow oh. and counting. Yeah, like either way, if you end up coming and yeah, touching this a little. Here, yeah. I think you got to get out here a little. I get to Jan? see a measure. Most I measures get out here. in Ford's yeah. game are out in the eight foot, and a lot easier to <laughs> determine. A lot of these measures, they can barely get the device <laughs> in any position to actually measure because they're like somewhere touching the button sometimes. It usually takes a minute or two just to move Pretty all the rocks <laughs> that aren't measurable out of play <laughs> before you're even able to measure. Yeah, you gotta be very careful. Like yes. Throw me like a 14. I'll give you what I throw my first. Well, if you hit no, nose. Nice I'm gonna have to go on that. Hey, line's good. He's got lots of room right now. Pass the curl. Pass the curl. It's really light. Okay. Got caught on a brand new path. Now it's whether yellow has scored one or two. Okay. We're gonna have a measurement. Of course, in this game, what we try to do is we we give the game to the players. We let them decide these things. We let them to do the measuring, and if they ever need to call for an official, they can. But uh, we leave it between them to set their rocks up, to do their measures, and make their own decisions. I think the players appreciate it, but it's also uh, the way it should be. I think it's you. Can't believe they haven't come up with an app yet to make this easier. <laughs> Got a great camera angle, thank you, Mr. Thomas Oliver, right there, giving us the view so we might know first. Can't quite see it move. Still a great camera angle, though. 70, we heard. Let's listen. Let's listen. Yeah. yeah. Yellow it is. So they will score the two. <laughs> so it'll be four to two after halfway point here in the fourth end. Uh, that'll be Catlin Schneider. will be up four to two on Miskew and Fry. We're being treated to a great game. Four great players. Also some great commentary. Scott Pfeiffer, the high performance coach four mixed doubles with Curling Canada joining me on the mic. Before we go back to him for some questions, bring up to speed on the other games around here in the Banff Curling Club on sheet one. We have Clyder Laycock and Carruthers Negevin. They are tied at three on sheet two. Husband-wife team of Sauter Botcher are up 2-1 on the father-daughter team of Nedouin Nedouin, keeping an eye on that game. And finally over on sheet four, we have Wilkes Liz Morthesen uh, leading six to one over the brother-sister team of Sturmey and Sturmey, thanks to a five-ender as a starting point for that game. And I see they've just posted in the fourth end a point for Sturmey Sturmey, so that game is now at 6-2 after four. Like we say in mixed doubles, a lot of points are out there. Games are not over, and it doesn't take much to get yourself right back into it. And, of course, the power play. Maybe, Scott, talk to us a little bit about the power play and how effective that's been at generating extra points uh it seems to be a bit of a game changer at times is uh 
Is that the way you see it, or what, what do the stats show? Uh, it definitely can be, depending on the situation that it's used. Uh, you'll see a lot of teams that are down in a game using a power play to generate offense. Well, some teams that are up in a game will save it till later in the game in order to uh, keep the forefoot open and, and allow them to score a point to, to potentially win the game. And although we're not in a power play, I mean, it seems to be the prevailing tactic now is to try and hit the guard from the outside and push it into the rings. Yeah, there's a, there's a few different options that teams are using. Uh, they'll either push their own rock into the rings, opening up the, the rock on the eight foot, or they will freeze to the one in the eight foot, hopefully getting shot. And you see some teams just drawing to the center of the house in order to bring the play into the center, um, or at least forcing the other team to bring the play into the center at some point during the end. There you have it. The keys to the power play. All right, we'll join our game in progress right now. It's Emma Miskew's first throw for Team Miskew Fry in the fifth end. Boss, yep. Hard. Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, good shot, Emma. There you go. Having a good shot, pushing the yellow back behind it's the like T-line like and speed leaving speed themselves speed. in the high yeah. four. Buried. It's just, I think some Although of them with the way the ice is curling, I think it's really buried. Yeah. Nice weight control by Emma. Catlin's going to kind of try to come down and play the outturn freeze. Potentially block off the shot rock sitting in the bottom. Weight's good. Line's good. You got room right now. Pass the girl. Pass the girl. Top, top okay, button. We're come around it. Top button. We're yep, there yep, still. Yep, yep, yep. Hard. Hard. No, wait's good for up here. Okay, that's good. Good throw there. It's the type of stacking okay. you'd like. I think just here. Shannon was calling an like audible, thinking that was heavy, trying to come around to freeze to their own on, f on the button. Uh, ended up slowing down and uh, ending up in a pretty good spot. Where did you take there? I need almost the same weight you just threw. Yeah, um, I was just inside edge. Just inside edge? With like... A set? Like a, yeah, okay. a soft set. Yep. Stack four. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Yep. Very nice throw. Getting a little dangerous for Catlin and Shannon. Okay, the lose shot, right much. behind the center guard Same and spot. not okay, having the hammer. Like even top 12, it's not terrible. Yeah. But like same shot, exactly. Just a reminder, we have 36 teams in our event. That's six pools of six. The top two teams in each pool will advance the championship round. As the championship round, you are in the money. Of course, it's by uh, how many wins and losses you have. If there's ties, with that, then we look at head-to-head uh, -head matches, and if that can't Don't resolve it, we go to the last stone draws that each team do. Both players throw before each game. They will be able to eliminate their worst one, and uh, as a result, uh, very important when they uh, do their practice and get ready to play that the last stone draw is not taken for granted. They Wait usually come into play, and as we get into the playoffs, they will actually help to determine who has uh, preferential decisions um, in the games, uh, in those crucial games. Gotta go wait now. Pass the girl. It's light. Pass the girl. It's yep. light. Yep, keep curling it then. Yep. Hard. Little more. Okay. Good for now. Yeah. I was thinking like board and just try to sit right here. I guess even if we touch this one, it's not bad. Yeah. So like if you touch this one and we like, yeah, do that. so then I guess we have to play like control. Probably controls the shot, I think. Okay. Hey. 
Oh, we told you there's six uh, six pools. Who are in those pools? This well, really in this golf. pool here, we've got uh, Bertrand Schneider, Top Seed, Sauter Botcher, Miskew Fry, Wilkes Thiessen, Wilkes Lismore Thiessen, sorry, Sturmey Sturmey, and Nedouin Nedouin. Right now, Miskew Fry and Bertrand Schneider each have one win along with Sturmey Sturmey, and the others are all at one loss. This is the second game for all the teams in this pool. A lot at stake. You want to keep yourself at two losses or less to give you a chance to make it through. Nice shot. This is not bad, but then they're going to run that. Yeah, I just think this is more last resort. It's just... Do you want room? Or do you want me to sweep? Come sweep, maybe. Like, nose is perfect. Nose yeah. is absolutely perfect. Nose is good. Only other shot, Chan, is just shoot the six in. Just jam All it right? on here. And if you do hit it onto here, you probably get rid of both of these. Just a, this one's a little dangerous. If I hit it here, we're dead. If I hit it onto here, it's not great. This probably jams. You know what I mean? Like, it's great if I nut it, but if I don't, it's a little sketchy. I think you're erring on hitting it this side. Well, hit it onto here. This is gonna drag and jam here, and they have two in the house. So you're wanting to play this into the seven? Well, I think if you just jam it in there, or okay. if you nut it here, like it's not going to drag as much on this side, so you probably do that. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I just like where the four is right now. I don't want to totally. Okay, if you like this, sure. I'm okay yeah. with it. Just got to make it. As we learned, there's no right and wrong, but which one do you think is on the shooter, there, better side of the right? Run? I would think running the one right on the center line back would be the best one. But as Catlin said, there's a few things if you're a little off and you hit it, raise it onto your own yellow, you're probably going to leave blue sitting two in the house. So like he said, you just got to throw it and make it. Okay. Yep. A little off there, left. <laughs> Ryan and Emma sitting two with the center guard. So either go right around so that the freeze is like. It's an opportunity to sit three here. Oh, like yeah, half both. and half is, half and half, half in the four is good. And one way they've got last rock and we're getting deep in the end here. So blue setting up nice. But of course those two center line yellows, a chance to advance them back, draw around them means that the end certainly very wide open because those two blues are behind the T line. I think I can, I think I gotta take a little ice here. Like if we're wide open, it's not the worst end, right? Like it makes or makes something. Yeah, or yeah. Like, you just don't want it to get caught curling and then give them a easy freeze. So the line that I took that hung out and hit the guard was here. Yeah, and that's probably close to our line. Yeah, right? I think so. Great conversation by Ryan Emma as to uh, which, which way, if, if they don't make well, the shot, how to miss now. it? Not to leave Catlin and Shannon a, an easy freeze to the back four foot. Hard, Emma. Pull. Line's good. Hard, Emma. Good. Shot. I think you can freeze here in the shot, or be second shot. Makes it tough for them. Yeah, good shot there, but even, like they said, even if they get in to cut all the other blues out, that'd be a, that'd be a good spot that. to be. Yeah. Sure, I, I think Ryan and Emma wishing that stopped about yeah, six inches fine. further so that if Catlin and Shannon came down, they couldn't yeah. sit second shot. There. It's pretty close. Yeah, I like it. I got a 14-4 on that. It's one thing we've learned, you can't pull yeah, a rock you backwards. Pull a rock. You can only make it keep <laughs> going forwards. <laughs> 
It's amazing the swings in this discipline try, where you know, one moment looks the great guess, for you and then the shot forward. later you're hey, scratching your head. Backwards. So uh, that's one of the exciting things. There's lots of rocks in play, okay. lots of okay, chances. And if you execute the shot, uh, things can swing Just around pretty quickly. Go aim for 14, I think. That's okay. good. That's good weight. Just outside edge with 14. Okay. Line's good. You got room right now. I like to go a bit for weight. Yeah, go then. Line's really good. Pass the curl if anything. It's close. Line's getting really close. It's close. Okay, yep, straight. Whoa, oh, line's good. Line's really good. Half Gotta to go curl, right. Half to curl. Going down to the back one. Look at that. It's got to get on top of it, though. Okay. Mm. Get rid of that blue. Well, if I hit it high side, it goes. Yeah, I'm thinking more like a board, but. Okay. Sounds like they're willing to sacrifice that blue in there and. They'll score the three if they can get down on it, the yellow. What line do yeah, you Yeah, like? I think they'll play to obviously move the yellow out, and if they, knows with any sort if they of do weight. move the blue over okay. uh, and they lose like it, they, they're like still going to score three. Okay? But there definitely okay. is a shot here for four. Um, so what line do you think? You threw, uh, I threw like a, that I control, control weight. Edge of the four and it curled. And even if they over a curl a bit, I don't think they can okay. move so with the way she's going like to throw the top blue one to any risk yeah, with of not yeah. scoring one. No Kay. less. Never say never, though. Easy, easy, easy. It'll curl then. No, no, it's got to curl. Really got to curl. Good. Good shot. Great shot there. I think the back one got out. I I think it stuck around for four. Okay. Sure. Well, like yesterday, a really close game, and then in four, it blew it open. The only. Oh, we put the two in. Sorry, okay, that's, that's <laughs> I missed something there. They did get the four, a great bounce back after giving up the two, so they are leading six to four. We are heading to six M. Well, interesting to see if they did do the power play, but nope, looks like they're going to save it. With the power play, you have to have, obviously, Hammer to do it. Is there any risk that you might not play it and then not be able to play it? Yeah, there definitely is that opportunity or chance that that would happen. Um, that would mean that you've scored one or multiple points because you wouldn't have the hammer, which is a good thing. So you don't want to leave it till the, the very, very end because uh, there is some gamesmanship that can go on there. But um, I, I think Catlin and Shannon know that um, the only way that they wouldn't be able to use their power play in seven or eight is if they score in the next two ends, which would put them in a still a pretty good position. Yep, great point. Quick update for you over on sheet number uh one with still 3-3. Three, three. They haven't posted the fourth end yet. They're just finishing five, so we'll give you an update there in a moment. On sheet number two, uh, Sauter and Botcher have broken that game open. It's 6-1, to one, and they're now playing in the sixth. They just finished the fifth, but we don't have the score yet. And after scoring one in four, they stole one in five, Sturmey, Sturmey. So that game's now 6-3, and they're coming down to the last stone here in the sixth end. Of course, in our game, a big four-ender there for Miskew Fry. They're up 6-4, and we'll see what uh, answer Bertrand and Schneider have here in the sixth end. Beats good. Okay. A little bit of an oversweep there by Miskew Fry, allowing Shannon to try and draw top four foot and put the pressure on. Okay, room, where are you? Maybe ah, a little adrenaline after that four. Oh, <laughs> That's right. way out there still. Looks heavy. Oh. 13-6. Curl and sit, please. Hug it. Two shots, a little up in the way.
bit of an advantage, swing back and forth. You want to tap this? Or no? Doesn't you don't have to, but if you do tap it a bit, it's okay. If you tap it a rock. And race the nose would yeah. be great. <laughs> Edge? Yeah. Yeah. Close. Yep. Lee's good. Well. Lee's good. Yep. Well. We're bouncing. Well. Yep. Hard. Hard. Nice shot. Great sweep there, but I'm going to drag that one right into position. A nice little tap. Sets up a little bit of a pocket. Safe, safe to say it might take a few shots to get that blue rock moving anywhere out of the forefoot. Wine's good. Wait, it's close. I'd like to go a bit. It's good. There it goes. Yep. Top Still button. Going. Line's really nice. Top yep. button. Yep. Top button. Yep. Hard. Right to it. Hard. Keep it high. Really good. Nice shot. Great answer there by Catlin Schneider. Yeah. Well, we had a listener asking, how do you read the scoreboard? It's not a bad question because lots of rinks have lots of different ways of doing it. Here in Banff, we have the points running down the middle, 1 to 12, and then they hang the ends up that represent how many points were earned in that end. So like if you're looking here, at our sheet, yeah, after we'll five that. ends, uh, Blues scored six points. And after uh, the same five ends, obviously, uh, Yellow scored four. So that's how we do it here, but there certainly there's lots of different ways. Okay. Scott, how many different ways? Uh, this is the most common oh, yeah. one, other than when you're at the uh, championships, they'll mark up the, and they'll have the ends in the middle or on the top uh, with the points. I'm not sure about any other ways that they potentially mark up scores anywhere. I think this is the most common one. Well, some great shot making happening here after the first two miscues. Let me throw the out. Okay. Right at the nose, back it up a hair. Oh. Be a little careful here. You can see a lot of rocks Curl moving. Curl's a sliver. Well, it still releases that center line. Sit. <coughs> they say they're going to replace that rock, Scott. Are they coming in there? I didn't see what their call was. I would think that they'll just be replacing it. The angles are pretty good uh, for Ryan and Emma. I remember someone once told me, they said, Steve, if someone got rid of that rock, they probably don't want it there, so you should put it back. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good advice. Wait's good. Mine's closed. Okay. Gotta get the center line, Em. Hard, Emma! Hard! Hard, Em! Great Speaking. sweep again. Really good touch in those that team. It would be good to throw it hard and either pick this one or pick this one. That looks like they left it a bit exposed, though. That's what they're talking about, trying to pick like what they can see. So firm. Yeah. It's just Get the blues skinny. moving. You don't see yep. Enough of that one. I'm just trying to think what is what's good about like half. See, so if you can get like a thick quarter on this top one, that's pretty good. Just give your, give us a little bit more space. Okay. In the forefoot. Isn't that kind of the same thing though as playing it hard? Like thick quarter, you just roll into here and you're pushing this to here. 
Yeah, like I think you're throwing. Are you trying to keep this over here so we can use it? That'd be good. Possibly. Okay. I don't mind throwing like normal. And I guess if we, I guess if we can also play hack. If we thin it over here, it's good. If we get to nose and just kind of move this back here, that's pretty good too. Yeah. The way it comes in there, you can get there. Even like two thirds high. Okay, so you're thinking control normal? I was thinking like heavy hack. Heavy hack? Okay. Yeah, and play it, uh, get to it. If we're, if I'm sweeping, it's running, we just tick it. Okay. But I, I, I need some ice. It's going to curl. More. Electing to throw the lighter weight. We can miss and chip our yellow, too. Yeah, it's not the best result. Electing to throw the lighter weight and keep the shooter around. Jostle the, the rocks hack. around and okay. hopefully line up the angles a little better than they currently are. Got it by. Oh. Hard to tell if that accomplished what like they wanted. Probably it? not enough. Yeah, not, yeah, not the angles that they really want. Now that uh, blue at the top of the forefoot, unless Ryan and Emma decide to promote I the rocks, the guard, doesn't look like it's going to go too far. I guess this rock goes nowhere now. Very difficult shot for okay. Catlin and Shannon to get two, even if Ryan and Emma don't shot if you took the guard, her only shot would be there for two. Yeah. Which is very hard. Yeah. I okay. think you'd give it a go with like board. Okay. Would you say it's a cool bet that they're in a good spot okay. here, uh, Miss Q and Fry? What do you think for line, no like edge of four? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, we wait for them to make that throw. Just Back, a quick update here over no. on sheet number one. Back, we do have a score put up for sheets uh, for ends four sure and five. Roll, like, if I do hit, we have Crothers and Yegevin have taken one and four, stolen one and five. So they currently lead five to three, playing in six. Uh, uh, Botcher and Sauter took one yeah, in, yeah, stole like one in five. So they're up seven like one. And over on sheet four, uh, Wilkes Lismore Thiessen uh, took two and six, so they lead eight to three, playing in seven. Oh, no, no, no. That's never too bad. No. Right. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't hit ours. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Good shot. Well. This is a spot that they can draw in for their deuces there. Just gotta get past this one. Well, I don't know. I think it's a straight draw right to here. Oh, this is my last one. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Yeah, like, what do you think? Which is where I threw similar on my first one. Yeah. So lots, of, lots of rocks thrown down this path, so they should know the speed, should know the line. Expect this would be fairly close. Have to go out a little further than a few of the Try shots that they've thrown already. Okay. Just to get a good eye for it. Well, big shot here, chance to tie the game at two. Otherwise, it'll be down one without hammer. But uh, Shannon proven herself very capable over the years and great curling. So, as Scott said, we expect this one to be close. The final rock here in the sixth end. Ken and Bertrand delivering it. Yeah, I got quite a bit right now. It's close. Quite wide right now. You got lots of room. Let it, let it work. Don't want to yet. No, okay. it's, it's all there. Starting to bend. Starting to bend. Yep. Don't want to. Yep, Actually, line. gotta go now. Yep. Hard line. Whoa. Line's great. Oh, look at this. Did they do it? <laughs> Great judge. Oh, Great sweep. Seems to be about a two centimeters short. Yeah. But a hell of a shot, I guess. Hell of a shot. It's roll. <laughs> that was a tough shot. 
So they score one, it'll be 6-5, <laughs> Miskew and Fry leading Bertrand we'll Schneider as we game. enter the seventh end. Miskew Fry will have last rock. It'll be interesting to see if they deploy the power play here. It'll be, probably be their last chance too. You can see Catlin and Shannon talking about it now. Scott, when we wait for them to make these decisions, uh, are you still playing a lot yourself? Do you, are you playing mixed doubles now? Is that <laughs> it? Or four still? Or just uh, lead on a curling club team at your local club? Or what are you doing? Uh, I spare for the Thursday night men's team in St. Albert uh, with my dad, Jamie King, and his dad, and a, and a few other guys. We have about a six or an eight man team. So uh, get out for a few games a year, but that's about the extent of my curling these days. Well, playing with your dad, that must be a lot of fun. Yeah, I certainly enjoy it. That's great. Well, glad you're still out there throwing. I love hearing Thursday Night League. <laughs> Where are you? Top four. Clean, yep. Looks like you ought to go a bit. It's curling early. Okay, we have our good. answer. No power play was line's played. Good, no. Easy. So the Easy play will still be to the middle this end. Top four. No, it's curl. I got it. I got it. Yep, yep, yep. Hard. Hard. Great throw there. Nice. You couldn't place that any better if you were asked to put where you wanted it. Very nice. Are they frozen? No, no, they're top button. Okay. Throwing that same, same thing intern. as last yeah. time. That's your hair happy. Okay, the line should be close. I think we can throw, is the end better or not? It doesn't really matter. It's the same both ways. We're getting to the nose. I think we know this path a little better. Hair less. Electing to throw the same path on that they did like on their first one. Throw down on top of there. Of course, Catlin and uh, Captain Schneider and uh, Shannon Bircher currently ranked fourth mixed doubles rankings as of September 21st. Of course, uh, Miskew and Fry, I don't see them up there in the ranking. That's more because they're new playing together, so I haven't played enough events to sort of gather the points. Yeah, Catlin and Shannon have played mixed doubles consistently for two or three years now. Uh, together and have earned a, a lot of mixed doubles points to go along with their CTRS points that they've earned over the last Whoa. year and a half. Yes. Yes. Hard. Ah. Well, great try on that shot. In case you're wondering, the team you watched earlier today, Peter and Galant are the number one ranking team. Jennifer Jones, Brent Lang, number two, Nancy Martin, Tyler Griffiths round out the top three, of course. Martin and Griffith have been around for a very long time. In fact, I think Nancy Martin, when we talked a couple of years ago, she had been to the Nationals probably the most of anyone. Yes, I, th I think she has a, a pretty good streak going right now. I can't recall the, the number of Nationals in a row it's been, but it's been quite a few. Yeah, and she's a perennial championship round player at our event. Yeah. And I believe was the... Um, the person in charge of the Ali Jenkins event that was just held in Saskatchewan. She did a great job with the organizing committee there. 
hosting another mixed doubles event. Back four. A big shout out to them, uh, really a great good. event and Never. producing a great champion, some great play. So congratulations on your event last week. It was a pleasure to get to see it. And as Scott said, a job well done by the organizing committee. Half rock. A little heavy by Catlin, bounces off and leaves Ryan a double takeout at three. Really has to just get to the inside here and should be able to make it fairly routine. And we'll be able to stay above the T line. In? Yeah. In turn? Yeah. I think with Peel, it's not going to do anything. Okay. Well, we have two finals yeah. here. Uh, we have the uh, Sauter Botcher defeating Neto and Neto in over on She 2. And uh, Wilkes lose more Thiessen, just defeated Sturme Sturme over on She 4. Catching a little thicker Shoot. than he would have wanted, leaving it around. Still a usable stone. Shoot. Where'd I have last time? Okay. Even a sliver less. Yeah. Okay, weight's good. Whoa. Back four, back eight. Whoa, close. Whoa, whoa. Weight's back good. Zero. It'll yep. come. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Whoa. Oh. Curl. Great top by Catlin to set two. Yeah, if you had gone to the washroom for the last yeah, two shots, you would have come out and seen a very different picture than you would expect. <laughs> I like that, I think. Just well, shows you how this right. game changes. Yeah, Even Certainly. if you just catch this one. Yeah. I think Ryan and Emma would be quite happy to uh, force Catlin Shannon to one here. Should give them the hammer and eight and the opportunity to use their power play. Sound like a little bit of clapping Jeez. out there. <laughs> Even if you get here, pretty good. They'll probably just pick this and give us one. Yeah. A little bit of a tricky spot for Catlin and Shannon to Only else so. you do, draw one in to set two. I think that's a shot. Like even if you come to here, it's not bad. Like I don't know, we're shot, right? So they, they just can't just draw. Just ah, I don't I don't like that. I think let's get two in here and force them to like. They don't want to give up a steal of two. They'd rather just give us one, right? Right. They might just, if we okay. leave them anything for three or four, they're playing it. Yeah. So we got to get in here. Even hey. this is a, even this is good. Yep. So let's take some extra ice. Like, this is what I gave you for your draw to the button. Yeah, so, I think it's just taking a little bit, like. Yeah, longer. Okay. So if they put this one in there, do you, do you agree with Catlin's analogy that they'll probably just pick the top one and give them one? They'll be tied coming home with? Yeah. Uh, at my... Hammers mixed up, but it was Ryan Listen, and Emma that declined to use a power play. And yeah, I think they definitely be happy yeah. giving up one yeah, no less. and having the hammer coming home. Because to your point, you could deploy the power play, yeah. move all the play to the outside, and yeah. be able to give yourself an easier last shot. But the shot needs to be made first. It's still a chance that if it's not made well, that they could have a, a double and get a bunch for sure. Light. Very similar. Okay. Take a look. It's got lots of room right now. Wait, it's close. Pass the curl. Pass the curl, Benny. Okay, it'll come. Should come hard. Pass the curl. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is way out there. Just get it. Uh, just second shot. Just get it. Second shot. Really got to carve this over. Shot. Hard to tell on. Take our take hammer with the power play, right? 
There you go, the yeah. discussion yeah. around that. Okay. Yeah, this is one where if you had a, 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 an We're easy shot or a, a fairly certain shot Pat. to get your deuce or three, you would take it. One yellow. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I just love that. One yellow. <laughs> Ryan and Emma electing to give up the steal. Deploy the Tied pads. up with eight. That's that sportsmanship you talked about where you kind of... I didn't know if it was a rule. It's like, the, it's like the pitch, it's like throwing an <laughs> intentional walk now. <laughs> well, is it a rule, Scott? Do you have to throw that or can you walk it down? Or what's, what, how, how do you play that out? Uh, in a timed game, for sure, you would have to throw that one down. Uh, I mean, they've moved all the rocks off, so now they're just throwing it through anyways. So. Yeah. the spirit of the game says that's let's move on but your point very valid in time games all time counts so yeah you, you, you do need to play it out because it's still a throw it's still a shot so tell us a bit about this because we had one earlier where uh, you know we were asked by somebody it said like how do they decide is it so the teams put it out they just mutually agree that it's lined up to their benefit or sorry to the mutual yeah, yeah so the they'll, <laughs> I guess they, they line up the one in the house, which is easier uh, because it has to split the 8-foot and the 12-foot. And then it's supposed to be lined up so that if you're sitting in the hack, that the blue rock is fully buried behind the guard. So the person in the hack kind of guides whether you need to move the, the, the guard rock a little left or right to ensure that that rock is fully buried. Yeah, so those coins are indicators. Yeah. Like to go a bit for weight. And tell us about it. I mean, what's, what, what do people usually use for coins? I know we're using loonies here. What, what, what have you seen at clubs? Uh, Anything really interesting? No, mostly just yeah, almost it looks like a bingo dabber is, <laughs> is what I kind of reference it to. It's just a black plastic dot that are put in the ice for mixed doubles references. Well, we do some kids' events here, and I only once have seen a kid trying to get the loony out. <laughs> so, you know, I guess that's one of the risks you have when you use loonies in your ice. So, uh, Well, here we are. We are a tied game after seven. Miscue and Fry electing to give up the point there in seven to retain hammer, deploy the power play, hoping to keep the play to the outside and leave themselves an easy shot. But, of course, Catlin Schneider and... Sorry, Catlin and... Shin, uh, Richard Schneider electing to play to the middle and trying to force the play there. So we'll keep an eye on how this unfolds. It's whoa, Emma Miskew's whoa, whoa. first shot for that team this end. Closed. Whoa, whoa. Emma trying the Close. tip here. Whoa, whoa. Shoot, shoot. Trying to make sure the yellow guard does not hit the, hit the boards or be removed from play. I'd say that's fairly well done. Very well done. Breeze. Just a guess on the freeze. I'm wondering if we freeze first. You like freeze first? And remind the yeah. viewers, when can you start hitting everything? What's the what's the rule around the taking out of rocks and timing and whether it's a guard what or in the house, is there here? any difference? Uh, easiest way is to remember when there's five rocks in play or have been removed from play, um, then you can start to hit. So after this shot, there will be five rocks in play, uh, which will allow uh, Ryan and Emma to start hitting rocks. So that's why you're seeing Catlin decide to freeze to the blue rock on the edge of the eight foot. Try and bring the play into the house. Close. Mine's good. Because he's fairly certain that Ryan is very adept at hitting, will be able to remove the guards. Okay. It's, real, it's probably there. Sit. Just sit somewhere there. Just a little strong there, bouncing off. <laughs> Even knows he can't get shot, eh? I don't like knows that much. No. Right, with the results we got already here, uh, this pool is really tightening up. We've got uh, Sauter Botcher at one and one, Wilkes Lismore Thiessen at one and one, and Sturmey Sturme at one and one. And one of these two teams will be at one and one. So certainly crowded. A uh, couple of tough pools out there, uh, Scott, when you look at the, uh, the the six pools we have. There is lots of great competition. The field that's it's been good. assembled here is amazing. And I expect lots of yep. good curling throughout the week. 
Right, Ryan Fry trying to take this one out and roll to the center wide open and hopefully something that can't be used against him. I mean, here's better because then he, yeah. he can't really so he can't do that. Really he has to do that way. way. Yeah. Okay. I think we're there. Hey. Catlin and Shannon, knowing that uh, they do have the freeze on the one and the forefoot, but all Emma would have to do on her last shot is remove it, and they would be sitting second shot. So they're trying to figure out some way to make the peel as difficult as possible. It's close. Pass the curl. Let it work a bit. Okay, I can let it run. Wait, it's really good. Yep, yep. A little more. Yep, keep going. Oh, fairly good to what they want, eh? It's thin over the top. Oof, that's a real thin. You can stuff it into it. Okay. Like, that's real thin. Well, half rock stuff, stuff's fine. Thick is the only way you're risking bringing it back into the middle. Play it whatever way you want, but like two thirds is pretty deadly. Okay. Two thirds goes through the hole. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't argue with either of them over there. Three angle quarters knowledge. is fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's three quarters that. to okay. two thirds removes the, the guard out of play. Only concern is raising it onto their own yellow and or, uh, yep. onto Shannon Catlin's yellow and promoting it into the house. Oh, that was almost what they said. Great Just job, though, and it gets rid of that other yellow over there. So yep. one less rock and play, which for them is beneficial. Well, the yeah. is Not a lot that, of places for that. Shannon Catlin to hide. Now. Freeze that. It's only other shot. Right. I don't mind that. I think they're just drawing open sides to two, and then we're still doing this. Yeah, <laughs> true. But I mean, it's a guess to draw open side this side right now. Yeah. Make you do this. Okay. Even if I'm like end up top eight, make her peel, then you freeze. Yeah. Weight's close. Line's good. I like to go a bit for weight. How's okay. line? Yeah, you can go. Yep. Hard. Okay, I'm light. I'm light. Okay. Just put a guard up here for now. That's the right tolerance. Be light. At least you give yourselves the guards. There's no way they're not ripping it, is there? There's no way. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're getting rid of it. <laughs> and then... Shannon's going to have a, a difficult freeze on her last one to make it as perfect as possible. Oh, you were six, right? Uh, no, the six was the rock we didn't like. I'll make a note of that. We'll keep an eye on it. The six blue seems to be a lot <laughs> rock that Emma and... Uh, Brian didn't like. Yep. Sweet. Ah, another nice executed shot. I, I make that note for me when I play Monday nights now <laughs> here in my 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 league play. I'm all the inside knowledge. <laughs> I'm not throwing the six wrong. 
I'm learning a lot during this uh, this live stream. I tell you, I'm going to keep more eyes. You eye just on need this. to live stream all the other sheets so you yeah. get to know all the rocks in the building. Well, we were commenting yesterday. One thing that people don't know is we actually used to be a bigger facility, so we have two sets of rocks. Oh, uh, we we that. interchange them every year, so you can play here this year, come back next year, and the rocks are absolutely 100% different. So you got to play every second here here if you want to gain uh, knowledge on our rocks. We see events early in the year this year, so you, okay. lots of time. Just a little sticky in the middle, so no more than, no higher than that. I got think of yeah. 14, I can clean it, it's still good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just, I think, uh, I want you to be able to sweep it and manage okay. it a little bit. Okay. Oh, well, this shot comes it's down, we're looking over on sheet number one. We have a tie game now. Between Yegevin yeah, Crothers and Kreider Laycock. Kreider Laycock stealing in seven, so they'll come home all tied. And Yegevin Crothers will have last rock. Right now on our sheet, we need a perfect freeze here. It's got to curl and slow, I think. Good shot. Really good shot, though. So literally make it go away, Scott. Make it go away, and they have a few counters that would win them the game. So you're thinking on the outside, uh, one third at least should make it go? I, I think even if you throw it hard and you hit this one on the nose, you'd be fine. So anywhere on the even left side of the rock. Goes, yeah, I anything, think. Anything. <laughs> <hard. Ferrano's laughs> pretty good. Final shot of the game. Aaron Niski needs to make the yellow rock go away, and they will win this game. Clean. Yep, clean. Love it. Great shot. What a greatly curled Good game. Guess. Both teams played extremely well. It's always a shame to have a loser in a game like that. But congratulations to Miskew and Fry, who pulled out the victory. That will put them a little bit of an edge. They'll be 2-0 and oh in this pool. Bertrand Schneider will drop to 1-1. One and one. That's the same as Soderbacher, Wilkes, Liz, Morthies, and Sturmey, Sturmey. So certainly things tight as we go into this pool. Scott, final words before you have to depart us. I look forward to some more great curling, just like we saw in this last game here over the entire weekend. All right. Well, don't be a stranger. You're welcome anytime on the stream. I know our fans enjoyed having you here. I certainly enjoyed having you here and hopefully you'll join us again this week we are going to shoot over to number one though you're welcome to stay around if you can we're going to see the end of the game Carruthers Yegevin against uh, Kleider and Laycock they are in the last end of course we're going to turn up the mic over there see if we can't capture some of what's oh, happening we've got a mic out on the ice Thanks to Thomas Oliver. He set us up here once again to be able to watch this. Of course, the players aren't mic'd up, so Scott and I are going to have to talk a lot more. Are you familiar with either of these teams very much? I know you said Reed's played a lot um, of mixed doubles over the years. Yeah, Reed and uh, Joanne. Courtney went to the World Mixed Doubles Curling Championship, I believe, in well, 2017 good. and secured Canada their Olympic spot in 2018. So he's got loads of experience uh, with a new partner this year with Selena. And uh, they did play in the Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship uh, in the Calgary bubble this past year. So we got to see them a little bit there. Nice. And uh, Steve and Madison got to see they were playing with different partners in the Ellie Jenkins uh, Classic a couple of weeks ago. Steve playing with Patty Hurstcorn and Madison playing with Ryla and her brother. It's nice, nice to see them teamed up here for the weekend. Mine's really good. Top button, whoa, I think it's there. You can put this one top button in a pretty good position to steal. Coming a bit deep. Now it's leaving a chance for uh, Yegevin and Carruthers to get in there. Is that what they're probably playing, you think? 
I, I think I saw Reed motion to peeling off the guard. I guess it's the only thing that could hurt them right now. Both those being uh, yellow locks being deep. Yeah, there's there is a pocket there, but it's at the back of the forefoot. So anything that Steve and Madison put in there, uh, they'll be able to follow them down and, and score their point. Wondering what that humming noise is. That's the scraper. It's scraper time. <laughs> so we always get the other sheets ready, uh, especially when one sheet's running a little bit behind, just to make sure we're ready to get the next draw underway. That draw will happen at 2 o'clock. So only about 38 minutes away. As you said, Scott, they peeled the center line guard off, so. I think it's uh, still two more rocks each, I think, at least to come. So looks like they're going to try and put this one top four. Trying to place it in a spot where if Reed and Selena hit it, uh, they will not be shot. It might be a little early to come into the house. I think Reed would play a really thin slash, jiggle out that pocket. Obviously thinking that if they throw the guard that Reed and Selena might beat them in there. I got a six, so I don't hate it. The okay, line's really good. Top four. I don't know how I feel when someone says I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a polite way of saying we gotta do something. <laughs> Looks like they're dragging this one into the top mm -hmm. four. Ah, pretty good shot there. Yeah, I would say perfectly placed. Reed may have the real thin double hitting the outturn side of the rock. He needs to be careful to not hit it too thick and Leave the yellow shooter okay. just biting the back of the button. Well, we were commenting earlier when we looked at this sheet. I mean, it's one thing for the players to focus on the game, but when you've got the views they have of the mountains and the fighting elk out in the side patch, it's got to be a slight distraction. It's even a distractor, distraction for some of us commentators being able to look outside at the beautiful mountains. It's a gorgeous facility and gorgeous area here. And just a reminder for those that are going to be tuning in soon, we'll have Jones Lang against Peterson Polo. Peterson Polo, of course, being the U.S. team current mixed doubles champions. And as we said earlier, Jennifer Jones, Brent Lang are the number two ranked Canadian team in the mixed doubles standing. But right now we're watching Yagovin Carruthers play against Clyder Lakoff in the final end of their game. They got the uh, got the jam they wanted. Now they have one back of the forefoot, looking to throw a guard here, which may force Reed and Selena to come in and draw a little earlier than they were hoping to. Two rocks each team, and one rock each player left to go here. The eighth end. down. Thinks the weight's close. He's on it early sweeping though. You'll come into play pretty quick here. We want this just short, just biting. Trying to guard their yellow stone. Perhaps a little deeper than they wanted. Still a good shot though and protecting that yellow. Yeah, I think the nose hit is there. It can spill a lot of those yellows or even hitting the left side and hitting the yellow on the back button across the face. Yeah. 
Lots of diff different options for Reed and Selena here. Scott, you've seen a lot of mixed doubles teams out there. Obviously, we've talked about the, the ones that we know are the top ones and have been. Uh, is there a sleeper one or, you know, an up-and-coming team you've seen that you're excited about? Uh, may not be yet a high performance or may not even be on the radar, but uh, any, any teams that you've seen? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, with Curling Canada, we have held a next-gen uh, tournament over the last couple of years other than last year with the pandemic, and uh, Tyler Tardy, and Desiree Haas have won that two times in a row. So uh, a really young team. I think they're really focused on the, the four-person game this year, but a team I can definitely anticipate seeing uh, in the future being very successful in mixed doubles. Yeah, Tyler Tardy breaking into the uh, adults after a number of years, winning not just Canadian but World Juniors. Got a strong team. In fact, uh, Jason Ginter, who's here playing, joining their team there. Uh, and uh, Desiree Ha playing with Corin Brown. And they've had some success, just narrowly missing out on the uh, Fours Olympic qualifying spots in Ottawa the other week. Well, wow. hitting it a little thinner than he wanted, jamming his yellow on the blue. Ideal shot here, I guess, is to put it somewhere top four. That's sort of blocking that, where a nose hit doesn't count. Likely will have a jam and forcing a draw to a very small button. Yeah, you have to bring it deep enough where Selena can't just play the nose hit yellow double, which would basically leave them full forefoot. So I think you'll see Steve and Madison bring this almost right into the forefoot. You're talking about Madison Kleider, the brother is Ryan Kleider, another great junior curler. Twice I got to see him play at the Canadian Championship in his last year there. They always wore the fancy pants and they finished with the bronze medal. That was the year that uh, Jacques Gauthier went and won and then went on to win the world. Another very good young team that we could see competing in mixed doubles for a very long time. That does part of the job. It makes Reed and Selena forced to the interim draw. There's no double there. Maybe down a new fresh path they haven't played for a while. Needing a piece of the button for the win. Well, a little bit of backing there, but to your point, can't really bounce very hard off that. So this is a straight draw. What everyone dreams about. Oh, final shot here of this end belongs to Selena. Chance to draw the button for the win. Well played end by uh, Clyder and Laycock to force this situation. Reed on the sweep. They're both going at it pretty hard here. Line looks good, weight does look good. Can they drag it there? And they drag it there. It's really, really going and great draw. Perfectly executed shot. Reed was the difference there. What a great sweep. No, a great throw by Selena. What a great entertaining game we just had there by two wonderful teams. Thanks again to Scott Piper for joining us. We've got about 29 minutes, but we'll be back on. We'll let you watch the players practice here in a few minutes and get ready for the next round. Once again, Jones Lang, Peterson Polo up next at 2 o'clock.